Twisted wreckage still litters the 401 east of Gananoque, where more than a dozen transport trucks were involved in a chain reaction crash that caused one death. The highway is still closed, causing major backups for the heavy truck traffic, which forced are forced to detour. Good afternoon. The 401 remains closed in the area where whiteout conditions led to a pileup involving at least 15 transport trucks yesterday afternoon. Uh, as we said, one person was killed, nearly 30 were injured, and a dangerous chemical was spilled at the scene. First responders who came in contact with the hazardous chemical had to undergo decontamination. A total of 29 people involved in the collision were treated at Kingston General Hospital, where it continues this hour to haul away the cars, SUVs, and transport trucks from the highway. This map will give you a clearer idea of the location. It is the 401 between Gananoque and Brockville. On that stretch of highway, about one kilometer apart, there were two crash scenes, both in the westbound lanes and occurring within minutes of each other. Both eastbound and westbound lanes are still closed. We talked earlier about the hazardous chemical in one of the transport trucks that posed a health risk to first responders. CTV's Tracy Tong is near the scene at the fire station in Lansdowne. Tracy, that station played an important role in the response to the crash. They certainly did, Andrea, and it was all hands on deck here. In fact, the fire chief tells me that he's been working for about 30 hours straight now, and he's still here at the fire department. Now, this department actually just received a shipment of these breathing apparatuses moments ago because they had to destroy their entire supply yesterday after being exposed to that toxic chemical. Mm -hmm. uh, bunker suits, uh, pants, and so on. The Leeds Fire Department had to destroy all of their breathing apparatuses and some other equipment after attending the hazardous crash scene on Highway 401. We've been to hell and back. <laughs> we've taken in some uh, things that we've never done before, uh, dealt with a product that we've never dealt with before. These photos were taken above the massive scene. At least 15 transport trucks and multiple vehicles were involved in a string of crashes on the 401 near Lansdowne yesterday afternoon. One tractor trailer was carrying about 15,000 liters of a corrosive, toxic chemical called fluorosilic acid. If there had been a fire, these, this type of chemical, it would have been very serious. The product had spilled out of the transport, was on the ground, on the, the person, on his transport uh, cab uh, that he was trapped in and uh, wound up uh, our people got involved with it as well. The driver of the transport truck was taken to hospital and pronounced dead. 29 others were decontaminated and taken to Kingston General, including 13 first responders. We don't know every day just how, how much hazardous material really is going by our towns, our cities. Uh, and it's the same issues we see with rail. You know, we really don't understand uh, the risks until something like this happens. The Ministry of Environment is on scene. The cleanup continues. And there has been significant progress out there at the scene. The latest update that we've gotten is that police have now completed their preliminary investigation and that most of that chemical spill has been contained at this time, but all lanes of Highway 401 between Mallory Town and Lansdowne remain closed at this time. Back to you.